NATO to expand its presence in Ukraine. Prepare it for a session. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization is set to significantly increase its presence in Ukraine, including appointing a special representative in Kyiv, as decided at the NATO summit in Washington on July the 9th to the 11th. According to the report, NATO's representation in Ukraine will undergo leadership changes with the new head assuming the status of Secretary General's Special Representative. Negotiations about who will take this position are ongoing, the European Pravda states in the article. Sources cited by the media outlet indicate that European NATO members insist the appointee should not be an American to balance US influence. The alliance's presence in Kyiv is expected to change both in size and level. The article states that there would be a large number of seconded officers from allied states responsible for key areas. In short, they are taking the work with Ukraine seriously, and this probably became the key change brought by the Washington summit. The new NATO structure in Kyiv has been tasked with ensuring Ukraine's readiness for membership, particularly in implementing reforms in the security and defense sector. The report considers this probably the main positive news, arguing that if the bureaucratic machine starts working on Ukraine's NATO membership, this intention is no longer just at the level of politicians and they really plan to implement it. Of course, if Ukraine itself remains on this path. The summit agreed upon a new structure called NATO Security Assistance and Training for Ukraine to coordinate all types of long-term assistance to Ukraine. Recall NATO has increased its military presence in the eastern part of the alliance as a direct result of Russia's behavior, which reflects a pattern of aggressive actions against its neighbors and the wider transatlantic community. Russia is the most significant and direct threat to allies' security and to peace and stability in the Euro-Atlantic area. Following Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, allies reinforced the existing battle groups and agreed to establish four more multinational battle groups in Bulgaria, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia. This has brought the total number of multinational battle groups to eight, effectively doubled the number of troops on the ground and extended NATO's forward presence along the alliance's eastern flank from the Baltic Sea in the north to the Black Sea in the south.